What's the plan for today, Nanny Plum? You're visiting the Elf Factory. Why? Well, Your Majesty, it's a very busy time of the year for the Elf Factory. What with Christmas coming up. So, what's that got to do with me? You have to inspect the toys and make sure they are perfect. <laughs> that sounds fun. Well, it's not fun, Holly. The toys are always perfect and all I say is, they're perfect. Do I have to go? Well, someone has to. They're expecting a royal visit. I could go and I could say the toys are perfect. Yes, why not? And Nanny Plum can go along too to look after you. Oh, goody! Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. We've come to see the Elf Factory. Do you know where it is? Of course I do. I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> so where is it? Follow me. <laughs> Elf Factory Reception. Good morning. Can I help you? Hello. Princess Holly is here for the royal visit. I see. Could you sign in, please? Uh, what do I do? Just put your name and job. My name is Princess Holly and my job is being a pretty fairy princess. Very good. Now, you will need these hard hats. <laughs> And I notice you have wands. Yes, we're fairies. I'll need to take your wands. No magic is allowed in the elf factory. Elves don't do magic. And we are elves. <laughs> oh, now... Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the factory is very busy today. We have a big toy order for Father Christmas. Wow! Is that Father Christmas? Oh, I shouldn't think so, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Mr Christmas. Can I speak to the wise old elf? Yes, yes. I shall get him right away. <laughs> Telephone call for the wise old elf. Please, Please report, report to reception, reception immediately. immediately. Hello, Princess Holly. Hello, wise old elf. It's Father Christmas. Oh, excuse me a moment. Hello? Hello, wise old elf. Will those dolls be ready in time for Christmas? Yes, Mr Christmas. We'll definitely have the dolls ready today. And you will make sure they have a pretty red dress, won't you? Yes, she'll have a lovely red dress. Thank you. Goodbye. Hello. Ah, big people. Hello, wise old elf. It's me, Father Christmas. Father Christmas. Why are you dressed like that? I'm in disguise. Top secret and all that. Ooh. I've popped down to check how you elves and fairies are doing with the Christmas preparations. Everything is in hand, Mr Christmas. We've made all the toys for you to give to the children of the world. Dolls' houses, footballs and teddy bears. Lovely. And Mr Elf has been flying day and night, delivering the toys to you at the North Pole. Good, good. And how about the Christmas crackers? The fairies are in charge of the crackers. Hello, everyone. We have a visitor. Ho, ho, ho. Ah, of course. You don't know who I am. I'm in disguise. You're Father Christmas. Oh, yes. Mr Christmas, would you like to test a cracker? Wow, that's loud. Yes, Nanny Plum is in charge of the bangs. Less bang, please, Nanny. What? But the bang is the best bit. That's why we do the cracker making underground. Let's try the paper hat. How do I look? <laughs> Very Christmassy. And we've got some good cracker jokes this year. What do you get 
if you cross a kangaroo and a sheep. A woolly jumper. <laughs> Daddy, that's awful. Cracker jokes are meant to be awful. That's why we get King Thistle to write them. <laughs> and the cracker toys. This year, we've made telephones to put in the crackers. A tiny telephone. Does it really work? No, it's just a lump of plastic. Come on, elves. Let's get the elf plane loaded. righty -o. Wind the engine. Roger that, Mr. Elf. Wind the engine. righty -o. Hi, boys. Hi, Hi girls. What's happening? Dad has an important job to do. What kind of job? He's flying to the North Pole. The North Pole? Yes, we're making our final delivery of toys to Father Christmas. Ooh! Flight 1000, ready for takeoff. Flight 1000, you are cleared for takeoff. Roger that, Control. Toys to Father Christmas. Well, who do you think makes all Father Christmas's toys? Um, elves? That's right, us elves. Ah. Elves work all year deep underground in the elf factory making toys. Then, in December, Ben's dad flies to the North Pole and delivers the toys to Father Christmas. Does he land at the North Pole and meet Father Christmas? No, he never lands. He drops the toys by parachute. Then Father Christmas wraps the toys up and delivers them to the children of the world. All the children? Even our friend Lucy? Oh, yes. Even Lucy. I love Christmas. And I love snow. Me too. I wish it was snowing now. Yes. It's Christmas Eve. When's it going to snow? <laughs> Are we nearly there yet? Yes, Nanny. We're almost at the North Pole. Will we meet Father Christmas? No, Holly. Remember, we never land at the North Pole. We drop the toys by parachute. Does Father Christmas catch them? No. The toys are collected by... Goblins. Not goblins. Arctic elves. Goblins, pixies, whatever. My brother is an Arctic elf. I didn't know you had a brother. Oh, yes. He's in charge of the Arctic elves. Calling Arctic elves, this is Flight 1001. <laughs> Receiving you loud and clear, Flight 1001. Please drop the toys. Righty o <laughs> Toys away! <laughs> now we can go home. It's a shame we never met Father Christmas or the Arctic Elves. The good thing is, we'll be back in time for the Elf and Fairy Feast. Oh, yes, the Elf and Fairy Feast. At midnight. With dancing and lanterns. <laughs> Oh dear! The elf plane sounds a bit odd. Is it broken? Of course not. This plane is built to last 1,000 flights. Oh! Ah, uh, this is flight 1001. Oh look! Lots of cops and things are falling out. Uh oh. We're going down! <gasps> We landed safely. That was lucky. Lucky? We're stuck at the North Pole. But now we might meet Father Christmas. And the Arctic Elves. I suppose we might see some penguins. Oh, I like penguins. Penguins live at the South Pole. This is the North Pole. <laughs> this is where the toys are painted. What's fun? Hello, everybody. Hello, Every elf 
has their bit to paint. One paints the eyes, another the mouth, and another the hair. Amazing! I thought it would be all done by machine. No, we do it all by hand. It looks such hard work. Elves like hard work, and we're elves! Well, thank goodness I'm a fairy. Shush, Nanny! Once the dress is painted, the doll goes through to the dryer. And then it's packed, ready for delivery. And here we are, the finished doll. A perfect example of elf workmanship. Isn't the doll's dress supposed to be red? What? Oh, oh, you're quite right, Princess Holly. Oh, never mind. Some mistakes occur when you're making so many dolls. But they've all got blue dresses. <laughs> oh, she's right. We'll have to unpack them all and paint them again. But there's not enough time. I could sort this out in a moment with a bit of magic. Magic is not allowed in the elf factory. OK. I'll just ring up Father Christmas and tell him what's happened. <gasps> I'm sure he'll understand. No, no. Don't ring Father Christmas. Uh, maybe Nanny Plum can use a bit of magic just this once. Good. First, I need my wand. Ah, oh, hello, wand. Ahem, blue to red. Yay! It worked! <laughs> Thank you. It was nothing, really, just a simple spell. A chair for Nanny Plum, please. What's this for? One down, 999 to go. Oh. Blue to red. Blue to red. Blue to red. <laughs> Gosh, Nanny, you must be so patient. Yes, Nanny Plum, we'll make an elf of you yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an elf. Mum, <laughs> you can tell the future, can't you? I certainly can. Can you tell if it's going to snow today? Yes, I'll use my special snow forecasting globe. Ho, oh, oh, I see. You gaze into the crystal ball and it tells our fortune, I suppose. <laughs> no, you just shake it, like this. There we are. It'll snow today. Hooray! Stop, stop, stop. How on earth can that thing predict the weather? It's never been wrong. What if you shook it in the summer? Well, you don't shake it in the summer, obviously. That would be silly. Well, you can't tell exactly when it's going to snow, can you? Yes, I can. It's going to snow now. Abracadabra! That's cheating. No, it's not. Make it snow! Nanny's made it snow! Let's go and see it! <laughs> <laughs> what? But where is the snow? Yeah! Nanny Plum! It's snowing inside! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> snow! Snow! <laughs> Let's play snow! Ooh, Nanny Plum, it's snowing in the sitting room. Is this your doing? Yes, it is. Inside is for sitting in armchairs and reading. Outside is for snow. Oh, inside, outside, whatever. Nanny Plum, you're fired. <laughs> Don't be silly. I'm taking away your wand until you learn how to control your spells better. But what about the snow? Not another word. Aww. Everyone out! Now Daddy's taken Nanny Plum's wand, she won't be able to magic any snow. Now we won't have any snow for Christmas. There's always a chance it might snow anyway. 
Here we are, the house of Father Christmas. It looks like a Christmas pudding. Oh, wonderful. Yes, little brother, I built it myself. Well, uh, when I said wonderful, I meant it's okay. <laughs> this is Father Christmas's study. We can thaw the ladybird out by the fire. Are these Father Christmas's slippers? Yes, they are. Wow! His feet are bigger than all of us. I think Gaston is thawing out. Well, well. Gaston's back! <laughs> Box 571 delivered. Oh, thank you, little brother. It would be simply spiffing if next year you made the last toy delivery before Christmas Eve. What? At least I make toys. You just wrap them up. Ah, but wrapping toys is the important bit. You have to be as old and wise as me to understand that. You're no wiser than me. But I am, by three minutes. And I always will be. Ahem. Talking of wrapping presents, shouldn't somebody be doing that by now? It's Christmas Eve. Goodness me, you're right. To the present wrapping machines. That's the last of this year's presents wrapped. Time for a holiday. Hurrah! Uh, we've just brought one more box of toys to wrap. Sorry to end your holiday. That's okay. Arctic elves love wrapping presents, and we are... Oh, no! Arctic elves! Let's pull a cracker. Oof! Let me out! Now, let's have a nice, normal Christmas. No weird, magical stuff. Oof! At last! I'm out of that cracker! What? What is that? It's King Thistle. He's our friend from the Little Kingdom, Dad. Ah! Magical weirdness! It's happening again! Hello, Lucy's dad. Um, hello. Allow me the honour of reading you the cracker joke. What's at the North Pole and has two humps? Hmm. A lost camel. <laughs> Good, isn't it? Yeah. I wrote it myself. Uh, Lucy, you haven't opened your present. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow, a tiny fairy castle. Hello, Lucy. Queen Thistle, what are you doing in there? Um, it's a bit complicated, but basically this isn't a toy. It's the real little castle shrunk down. Are you OK? I'll be fine once I'm my own size again. Um, are there any more of you, uh, fairies around here? What's that noise? Ah! Hello, Lucy's dad! Um, hello. Daddy! Mummy! Hello! <laughs> hello, everybody! Um, is that all of you now? Uh, there are the Pine Elves too. Pine Elves? What are they? We're Pine Elves! They live in our Christmas tree. Pine Elves, yes, of course. Why didn't I think of that? My goodness, it looks like just about everyone from the Little Kingdom is here. Hello. Um, hello. We heard the Christmas party was around your place this year. We're gnomes, by the way. <laughs> um, it seems we have gnomes as well. Yes, aren't you the lucky ones? <gasps> ah! Hello, big people. Happy Christmas from Planet Bong. Aliens, elves. Fairies, gnomes, all we need now is Father Christmas. <sniffs> ho, ho, ho. Wow, Father 
Santa Christmas in our house. Ho, ho, ho. What? But who? But how? What my husband's trying to say is, please join us for lunch. Hooray! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Daddy. Oh, Merry Christmas, Lucy. Merry Christmas, everyone. Big and little. <laughs> <laughs>